Bert Marshall, Kathy McDonald leading the horses to the post this evening's third race. Field of nine going postward. Eight minutes until post time. Number one is Cornell Lund, known by Jeff Rector, the Ace and Pace and Stables. Virgil Morgan and Lisa Grubich of Ohio Virgil Morgan Jr. trains. Mike Wilder drives. The two is Santa Dia, owned by Clarence DeLong of Grove City. Daryl Hoosier trains. Drivers change to Brad Hanners. Brad Hanners. Three is Albert the First, owned by Robert Deal of Chillicothe. Jerry Kuchbach trains for Eric Ludford. The four sometimes soon owned by Keith Noble, Robert Lowry of Dublin and Columbus, Rocky Stidham, the trainer driver. Number five, U.S. News, owned by Jim Arledge of Circleville and Sturgill Loma Bainbridge. Jim Arledge trains for Jack Daly. The six, the competitor, owned by the Walgrove Stables of Lockburn, Andrea Miller trains, Del Miller drives. Number seven, King and Doctor, owned by Barbara King Trust of Columbus. Jimmy King trains for Jeff Fout. The eight, Barron's Carrier, owned by Sarah Rader of Plain City. Lana Joe Sturgill Pollock, the trainer for Ryan Holton. And the nine, Rothhausen, owned and trained by Enlo Atkinson of Kettering. Dave Hawk in the Sonky. One play show perfecta, super factor wagering. Seven minutes remain until post time. Seven minutes. Third race, claiming handicap pacers on and behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Albert the first, who's first full of lead from the outside and uh, challenging quickly second. Here comes Baron's carrier. From between horses three, King and Doctor towards the inside and fourth. It's set to deal Cornell and a bit sluggish here. Came away fifth on the inside to sixth is sometime soon. Then it's a gap of three lengths. Seventh U.S. News, followed eighth by the competitor. The early trailer is Ruffhausen, who had to chase the gate leaving. They're at the first quarter mile marker, opening panel 28 and 1. And now the leader is the 7 King and Doctor. King and Doctor on the front here at 21 to 1, shows the way by two. Barron's carrier on the inside. Albert the first is moving back out to reclaim the lead. Set to deal. Hustles after that cover is fourth. Cornellan is now showing pace as he comes to the outside fifth. At the rail and saving ground, a sixth is sometime soon. U.S. News to the outer flow is seventh. The competitor at the rail gapping slightly eighth. Rothhausen continues to trail the half in 57 and three. To the back stretch, and Albert the first back in control here by two. On the inside and racing a second. It's King and Doctor, and to the outside uh, comes Santa Deal, who's now stalking the leader third with that cover fourth. Cornell and to the inside and racing a fifth. It's Barron's carrier to the outer flow. Sixth U.S. News shuffle back at the rail and seventh is sometime soon. Tightly bunched here as they reach the three quarter mile marker. 127 and one. And now Lundford asking for more from Albert the first. And they lead here a length, a length and a half on the outside and racing a second. It's set to deal. Cornell and launching his attack. He's now three wide and coming quickly. Less than an eighth of a mile ago. And uh, down the stretch they come and it's Albert to the first with the lead on the outside to Santa Deal quickly takes the lead and Santa Deal your new leader U.S. News far outside and Daly on the outside U.S. News and Santa Deal only noses apart that very tight for the win. Tracks high to the unofficial winner of the third number five U.S. News. Four-year-old son of Falcon Seelster from the Abercrombie Mare. Castleton Molly. Owned by Jim Arledge of Circleville and Sturgill Loma of Bainbridge. Jim Arledge is the trainer. Jack Daly in the Sonky. U.S. News using a strong stretch kick. Recording his second of the season. Pacing to Dots Mile and 157 flat. And for driver Jack Daly, he records two quick wins this evening, winning two of the first three for a driving double. Third race is now official. The $2 Perfecta, 5 2, $48.40. 48 40. 48 .40.